Hi everyone, I'm Matt Rodwell, creator of the Dynamic Skill Tree System, coming soon to the UE4 Marketplace. So this is an MMO-inspired skill tree system that can easily be customized and adapted to suit a variety of different types of games, uh, from RPGs to stealth action games like our upcoming burglary simulator Klepto. So in this video I just wanted to give you an overview of the system itself. When this launches on the UE4 Marketplace, I'll have additional videos set up to walk you through the process of integrating this in your project and customizing it. So the system supports both 2D and 3D widgets. The system also includes gamepad support. So most of the work is being done in the skill tree system blueprint. Uh, there's a lot going on in there, but, but really there isn't much in that blueprint that you're going to need to do to get this integrated in your project and to get things customized. So there's also going to be a 3D widget blueprint. Uh, this is what you see scattered throughout the level here. I'll show you how easy it is to get these set up. Um, first, uh, click the instance of your blueprint, uh, and you want this name to match your skill tree. Uh, so in this case, we're going to go ahead and use our mage. A rogue and our warrior. And you'll see we've updated these to the appropriate skill trees. If you want to include the details widget uh, instead of a skill tree, uh, it's the same blueprint. All you have to do is click this checkbox. And see, we've updated that from a standard skill tree to the skill tree. Uh, details box uh, with available points. So these skill trees are driven by data tables. So there's two primary ones you'll need to set up. First is your skill tree table. This is a uh, skill trees that you're going to have for your various classes and your skills table. So this is going to be your individual skills for each of these skill trees. Skill trees table is pretty easy to uh, get set up right here in the editor. So you define your class, uh, the column counts and row counts. If you want to display uh, how many available skill points that you have on that tree, uh, just simply click that box and it will appear down at the bottom. Uh, background overlay image, and also how many points it takes um, to be spent in the skill tree before the next row will unlock for you. So then we've got our individual skills uh, table. Now this is something that you're going to want to edit in an offline spreadsheet editor such as Excel. But we'll open up here so you can just kind of take a look and uh, see what we've got. Uh, I haven't populated this with a whole lot of sample content yet, um, but there's enough in there to give you an understanding of how this is being used. Now, I've also set up a, a theme system here just to make it easier to customize. So currently I have two different themes set up, uh, sci-fi and fantasy. Uh, if you'd like to set up your own, I'll have a, a diagram set up that, that matches all of these uh, theme names to, to the various components of the skill tree system. So you'll have a visual reference to go off of. And then you can just add a new row to here and customize it as you want. We'll go into our skill tree system here and here you'll select your theme from the drop down. Uh, there's the, the new one that we haven't set up uh, but we do have sci-fi already set up. So we'll go ahead and compile that and you'll see everything has already been updated for us. Although mages and warriors really don't go with a sci-fi theme so we'll change this to a couple of others that we have set up. Once you've got your skill trees and your skills set up, next thing you want to do is, is set up your unlock events. Uh, th these are going to be tied to all your individual skills. Just as a quick demonstration, I've got a couple of skills set up here to toggle the, the visual appearance of the character. Uh, so the first one we'll, we'll purchase is going to turn us green. And we'll buy a second one that's going to turn us blue. Pretty basic just to show you how these skills are being fired off. So these are being fired off from the mage skill tree. And our skill was turn player blue and turn player green, which are simply setting the material of the mesh. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Um, if there's some additional features that you'd be interested in seeing, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Be sure to post any questions or feedback you have in the Marketplace forums. Uh, hopefully this system can save you a little bit of time. Well, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the Marketplace soon.